The Baroque Library occupies two floors above the Mirror Chapel at the Clementinum, Prague. Visitors to Prague can take a peek at the Baroque Library by paying for a guided tour which includes the Meridian Hall and Astronomical Tower. The guided tour costs 300 Czech Karunas for adults, approximately 13 US dollars or 12 euros. I took the 40-minute guided tour and thought it was quite edu educational, since you get to see a copy of the Old Testament Codex, see the tools used by Czech astronomers, and get a great view of Prague at the top of the tower. However, take note that you actually get to see the Baroque Library only from afar, with very limited natural light. Peter Canisius, the founder of the Clementinum, said that a college without a church has more value than a school without a library. The Jesuits and Dominicans who once resided in the Clementinum throughout the years ensured that they would always have books, which would explain why the Baroque Library is so well preserved. The Baroque Library plays an interesting role for the Czech community. For one, it is an important part of Czech cultural heritage. The library vault fresco by Jan Hebel is considered a valuable art piece. The upper part of the fresco is an allegory of the sciences of reason, genius, music, astronomy, geometry, mathematics. The lower part of the fresco depicts representatives of truth, St. Catherine, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Cosmo, St. Damien, Christ, Moses, and Elias. In addition to the gallery, balustrade, and oak bookcases, the Baroque Library contains several terrestrial and celestial globes and astronomical clocks. The year it was completed, 1727, is shown clearly in four places in the library. Apart from its artistic value, the Baroque Library holds original editions of books on theology dating back to the Middle Ages. Our guide pointed out that only experienced library staff from the National Library are allowed to enter the Baroque Library and pull out volumes on special request. It's more likely that this is a rare occurrence, however, since most of, most of the collections have been digitized already. According to the Clementinum, a guide by Petra Olikova, the library was said to once contain 15,000 volumes, including the Jesuit library called Biblioteca Mayor. The third role the Baroque library plays is an obvious one. Although the Baroque library no longer functions as a library per se, its historical and artistic value ensures its place as a national landmark and an integral part of the Clementinum.